Hey there folks, this is the MC Jedi Man. I'm coming to you with another video. Today's a big one. It's an unboxing and toy review, the likes of which you may not have seen before. Before I reveal what it is and lift up the beast to be unboxed, uh, first let me uh, remind everyone, if you like my content, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know when I upload. And check out my gaming channel sometime, DMC Jedi Man Gaming, where I play a lot of cool games, including both the Ninja Turtles Calabunga Collection and Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and eventually I will be doing the DLC for that. Anyway, so a little bit of backstory for this thing. I pre-ordered this last year in April for 260 bucks, counting tax and shipping. We have here today the NECA Party Wagon. Whew! Now, a little bit of a rant before I get into the good stuff. I am a little unhappy right now with either NECA, FedEx, or the U.S. Postal Service. Because one or more of them screwed up. Because I was sent an email, I'd say about two weeks ago, saying that a shipping label had been created. That is all that it says. Even now, after this has been delivered, it still only says a shipping label was created. So... That is probably more on FedEx for not updating the tracking at all. I also blame NACA because with that email they sent me about that, they were like, we'll send you another email once it actually ships out, which they never did. And insult to injury, either FedEx, if they were the ones that actually delivered it, or the U.S. Postal Service, if they were, neither one of them knocked on my door or rang my doorbell to alert me that this beast had arrived. So I found out just going outside to check if I got any mail today, which I don't normally do unless I'm expecting a package, which I am expecting a different package from someone that I don't have tracking for. So that's why I decided to go out today, and lo and behold, this was next to my door. It's like, you son of a bitches, you should have told me that I had this thing outside. So I'm damn lucky that nobody swiped this, because I don't got 250 bucks to get another one. That being... uh said my rant over let's get this unboxed and check it out uh, i still have no idea where i'm going to put this either you know because it's massive well worth the money from what i hear though hopefully it's not damaged because this box does have a uh, big hole in the side of it Whew. Heavy, too. Okay, that's the initial uh, part done. Whoa. Anyone wondering about that hole that's just right up there in the top. But let me toss that to the side. Whew. Step one. The van, the box the van comes in is out of the shipping box. Step two, get the uh, the turtle van box out of this uh, protective bubble wrap packaging. Okay, phew. So this is the uh, the front of the box. Love that gorgeous artwork. Also, I just realized I don't have a turtle uh, a neck of turtle to put with this right now. Unfortunately, my my NECA turtles are a little hard to get to right now. Well, not NECA turtles. I actually don't have the NECA animated turtles. That's the only things I have for NECA for turtle stuff, aside from the turtle band now, is I've got the uh, NECA Super Shredder figure, and I've got the uh, NECA Krang Android body figure. 
I have some uh, animated turtles that are in scale to NECA, but they're the uh, Nickelodeon uh, Playmates-ish ones. But anyway, front of the box, and we got a picture of the toy on the side, some shots of the toy on the back, action shots, if you will. Another image of the toy there, the turtle's logo there, and on the bottom, we have assembly instructions. Now, I'm going to try and get that to where the camera can pick up all of that stuff. It shows how to open the roof, how to open the front roof, the collapsed laser chair, the tech wall, the battle wall. Now, let's uh, take a look at some of what it says back here. So, this says that it requires three 1.5V cell batteries, and it says batteries are included. Now, I have not been uh, finding anything that actually shows that the batteries have been included. I actually did watch uh, Yes Have Some podcast unbox this, and it seems that they didn't have the batteries. Okay. Let's get the the van open here. I love how it says figures not included. Oh, it's like, well, I wasn't expecting figures to be included. So it would have been nice if they had included like one turtle. Still have a little more uh, tape to, to cut off. Obviously, I don't want to damage the box, even though this is going to be out on display. It's like you always want to keep the boxes to your things in good shape because you may need it for for moving someday or you might just decide someday that you can't keep the item. It will always sell better if it has its original taxi. That being said, I do not plan on selling this and you know, I wanted this guy. Whew! Oh boy, we're getting it out. <sighs> Okay, put the box over here. You'll notice I didn't pop that like the packaging. Trying to figure out the best way to do this. I guess I will have to make an incision on the tape here. Okay, let's figure out the best way to get this out without damaging it, which I guess is that way. All the other accessories are there, but we'll get to those in a moment. So here she is, the turtle van. We got the radar dish on the top. We got the little, uh, I guess you'd call them spotlights there. We got mounts for the guns to go actual uh, working headlights, though I I don't know if there's a, uh, we got rolling wheels, we got opening uh, doors, detailed uh, interior, steering wheel does move, though obviously it does not turn the wheels. And you can see this thing's massive. I mean, look how big it is compared to me. Okay, so in terms of the roof, I love the fact that they do have it open up like the like the intro. Got the, uh, the spoiler on the top. Now this uh, this roof part opens up as well, I think. Somehow, no, I'm not gonna fight with that for the moment. Okay, 
We got the uh, side door that opens up. We got the uh, rear doors that open up as well. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I. Wait, does this door open too? Nah, it just looks like it would, but it doesn't. At least I don't think it Hold on. There we go. You always got to be careful with NECA stuff, too, because their uh, stuff is a little brittle. So we got the uh, little computer area in there. Uh, there's also uh, some other computery uh, looking bits. Okay. I'm not going to close those yet. Oh! Look at that! So this is something that the yes have some guys didn't have a tab like this so let's pull that out so i'm gonna put it over there let's see do they work they do we have light the turtle van's lights work oh my god the tail lights work too that is awesome <laughs> oh that is awesome For right now, though, we're going to turn those off. And see if we can get the, uh, whoa. Please tell me I did not just break this. Because that would, uh, that would suck. Like, I'm hoping it just pops off. Okay, yes, good, it just popped off. Whew! Oh, I was a little worried for a moment. It's like, no, don't tell me I broke this thing. Just wanted to get that off, though, so you can see a better look inside. Whew! Oh, it is not easy to do this, uh, on one zone. Ow. Note to self, be careful putting the roof back on, because you might pinch your fingers. Okay, so right now we're going to set the van down there, because we have uh, accessories to, to liberate. Okay. Just familiarizing myself with what's what here. Okay. That should allow us access into here. Okay. Somewhat. When we pull this, if man, they got this thing uh buttoned up tighter than Fort Knox. Okay. Woo! We got the uh, covering off. So these are the uh, missile tips. I'm actually going to put them on last. And we got the uh, the gunner seat. Or rather the gun. This is the gunner seat. Got a strap to hold the turtle in. Then we got what's called the uh, folded down gunner seat. This is for or the folded out down gun, I guess. I, maybe it's folded down gun or something. I'm not entirely sure. We got the uh, weapons wall. Let 
Uh, come on. We got what's called a tech wall. Not sure if I would call that tech. And we got a uh, thing of missiles. Okay, so in terms of my display, I'm going to use this wall. I'm going to use maybe these. Definitely going to use the C. So for right now, let's move that out of the way. Because I need to be able to refer to the instructions on the box as to how to actually put this together. Hmm. Actually, I think both walls can be used. Maybe? Maybe I'm wrong. Just, uh, just looking into how to do this. Okay. So it looks like I connect the laser chair to the gunner part. No, that doesn't seem right. Hmm. Hold on. When in doubt, refer to photographs. Ah. Okay, so that helps to to know. Okay, hold on. Trying to do this carefully. I do not want to damage anything. And of course that belt uh, thing came out. So let's push that back in. From what I hear, if you complain to NECA about any uh, product damage, they'll tell you, oh, our stuff isn't meant to be taken out of the boxes and used. It's like, then why do you design it that way? There we go. So that part's been gotten in. Okay, our seat is made. Yay! Oh. Got things uh, falling over. Okay, so we got the gunner seat installed, folks. All right. Next up is going to be the battle wall. Whoa. Okay, come on. Open back up. Okay. Is 
in. Oh, you know, this might be easier if I do have the roof off for this. So let's get that off. That way we can install this properly. There we go. We got the uh, battle wall installed. Okay, yeah, I guess it's either the battle wall or the tech wall. I think the battle wall probably adds a little more to the look than the uh, than the tech wall does. But man, how how awesome is this? All right. Get the uh, the doors closed before installing the roof. Let me get the uh, the missiles installed on here. Got the uh, missile things installed. Now we just gotta get the roof back on without damaging this. Nope. I say without damaging it, as my uh, finger hits into that. I know you're supposed to. Hmm. Okay, well I guess it I guess that's as uh, flush as it gets. It doesn't it doesn't perfectly go flush, I think. Or maybe it does, but I do not want to force it. So, like I said, this was uh, kind of pricey. <laughs> it's so cool, though. Now the question is, where the hell am I going to put this beat? I will have to dredge up my turtle figures to, to go with it. But, man, oh, man. Obviously... You know, it is worth it for original price. That being said, you're going to be out of luck if you really want to get this. Because the pre-orders for it were, like I said, back in April of last year. They never really sold it anywhere but the official NECA store. Now, maybe they'll do another release of them. I'm not sure, but... These are going to go up in price. Like, already, with them actually shipping out, I see people asking between 500 and two grand for them already. So, imagine, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years down the road. That's going to be a pretty pricey sought-after item. But I am happy with my purchase. You know, I will say I actually made the mistake, though. When I bought this, I was thinking it was actually the... Uh, I think the Super 7 Ultimate one, which was double the price. So when I was like, oh, it's only 200 and something. I can afford that. I just got, you know, tax money. Whew. No, it wasn't that. But I am glad NECA listened to the fans. They redesigned the roof after fan outcry. Uh, obviously, they went with a bit more of a cartoon accurate color scheme, which I actually prefer because... The one in the show was a browner color, you know, like a tan beige, as opposed to, you know, the the toy party wagon from Playmates, which was a bright yellow. But, yeah, I love this thing. You know, I think to celebrate it arriving, I'm going to have to cook myself a pizza tonight. 
but I hope everyone did enjoy this uh, unboxing review. Sorry it wasn't as polished as some of mine. Not that my unboxing reviews are really that polished, but obviously with the size of it, it was a little more difficult to to do an unboxing with the room I really need. But hope everyone enjoyed it. I'll be back with another video soon. This has been DMC Jedi Man. I'm signing off. Peace, everybody, and turtle power!